everyone. So today I have my model Zuni here and um, I thought I would just take a few minutes to go over some of the products I reviewed in my blog post in person. Um, it's a little late in the season for shedding but Zuni grew a nice thick coat this year so um, she's still got a little bit left. I have been grooming on them quite frequently but as you can tell even just running my hand off I still get a little bit of hair. So um, hopefully we can show the effectiveness of some of these tools. So the first one I have here is the, the Sleek Ease. So that comes in two sizes. There's this size and then there's about half that. So I'd say probably a, something close to 12 inches and something close to six. Um, this particular one is on the older side. So it is, uh, it's a little dull in the blades but um, I think it'll still do a good job of showing you what it can do. So hopefully you can see we're getting quite a bit of, as you can tell, I'm right-handed, but these are super nice because you get all of that hair off. So I like this. I think there's something super satisfying about seeing those giant clumps of hair and she usually doesn't disappoint she's a little dirty today but she lives in a field currently up on the mountaintop paddock up in a canyon so clearly by all the hair flying around that worked pretty well so that's the sleekies the next one that a lot of people recommend um, super effective, cheap, um, an old rasp. Farriers go through these pretty quick, so I'm sure you could cut a deal with your farrier if he's around and you didn't have anything else. But it works. I'm using the, the soft side, not the soft side, but the more fine side. And I think this works better when they've got a little bit more hair, but right now I think, uh, I think she's a little thin in the hair department to really make this work. Oh, that's the harder, less fine side. Um, on the ones that are really shutting out, you can you can get more with with this, but um, unfortunately, right now that's that's not the most effective tool. And then we also have which. I didn't on my blog post I uh, I said I didn't try it this is the hair strip hair the current one they have listed on their website right now is like pretty close to $40 without shipping you can I'm sure buy them in a in a feed store if anyone was ever able to get to a feed store um, unfortunately that's not gonna happen for me anytime soon I'm not going to spend $40 on a shedding tool <laughs> when I have other things that work really well, kind of like, I mean, even just a, just a rasp works really well when they're really long. Um, so I also think this is a little bit different product than what I have on the website right now. I think it might be a little older or a different model than some of the people had recommended. I don't know what this goes for, but you can kind of see on the back of this, it's got, um, like rubber bumpies and this worked surprisingly well considering so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and uh, maybe not I don't know and hopefully you can kind of see how this works so this is kind of nice though because it's rubber that's moon that's Zuni's buddy it's very angry she's gone so this is kind of nice. It seems to be working pretty well. Her, uh, her white is still shutting out more than her. And you can kind of use this as a curry too, I've noticed. Just make sure you use that, that other side there. Um, and again, I wish I had done this sooner because I think you could see the the difference in the tools a little bit better but in general most of these tools work 
pretty similarly. Um, so that was the strip hair. And then I've got just a normal shedding blade and I, most people have used these before. I do it like this. You just get everything loosened up and the hair kind of flies around a bit. And then you do that. Then I'll scrub a little more. Now she's got pretty thick skin. Some of my thoroughbreds would not appreciate this whatsoever. Um, they're pretty thin skinned. And so right now they, some of them even have trouble with just a gentle curry comb. I've got one horse that especially right here, he gets super ticklish. Doesn't like much more than um, like a really soft curry. So unfortunately, this didn't go as well as I'd hoped. She's not that fuzzy. I don't know, her butt's a little fuzzier, but her belly. This works. Get some of the hair out. Um, I did have one unique request. Someone said a Furminator, like the dog Furminator. So I have one because I have a uh, Belgian Shepherd, Belgian Sheepdog with really long hair. And I also have a Border Collie cross um, with a Great Pyrenees. So he's got really long hair as well. They're both three layer coats. Um, so I bought this for them. So someone said this works well on horses and I would imagine that this works about just as well as the, uh, as the uh, Sleekies, the wooden block with the blade on it. It's the same, same technology. So this to me, I don't know. <laughs> it just, you can't curry with it and you have to be kind of gentle even with her. She doesn't seem to, she's pretty unaffected by much, but it's not, certainly not doing what I would think it would. She's got enough hair where I would think this would take a little bit more off. Um, I mean, I think this could work if you've got one that's really long, but I wouldn't spend the money on a dog Furminator unless you had a super high shedding dog. Um, so I would say that's out as well. And um, that's really about it for the shedding tools that I have. I, uh, again, my favorite when they're long is the Sleekies. And you can tell even after spending some time with the other tools, this one is still the most effective, even when she doesn't have a ton of hair left. And I've been grooming on her now for a few minutes, but um, hopefully, hopefully that helped you guys out. I uh, wish I could have had a fuzzier horse, but um, I don't know. I think Zuni's ready to go back and see her buddies. And once I'm done grooming her, she will go back and be a pasture pet. So um, any questions, leave a comment. Hit the subscribe and like button if you like it. Don't forget to follow my channel. Thanks.